Sophia. Hey guys, it's Shayla. Hey guys, and Natasha. Hey guys, and today I will be showing you how to draw a corgi. For those of you that don't know how what a da, 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 da. <laughs> what a corgi is. Yeah, that <laughs> it's um it's a type of dog that has really stubby legs. <laughs> First, you want to draw a cur like that. It could be a little bigger, but it works. I'm going to draw a little bigger though. Next, you want to draw some fluff and then go down. Fluff, then go down and attach it. Ears. So now she's going to draw the ear. You can draw on the TV. I'm going to get some medicine. Get the black remote on mommy's nightstand. You kind of want to make it kind of like a cat. You want to make a dot. It's better to use right line here. paper so that you can tell where to put the dots. One ear may be a little smaller than the other, but it's okay. Next. Yeah. Next, you want to draw the nose. It's kind of like a curved triangle. Like that. Next, you want to draw a tiny smile with a little dot at the end. Mm -hmm. Same on the other side. <clears throat> Next, you want to draw a tongue from here to here and draw a little line down. Next, you want to draw the eyes. Sometimes, if they're really big, it makes it cuter. So I'm going to draw them really big. Then you want to draw some eyes right here. Then you want to shade all this in. You might want to do it better than me, but I'm just trying to quick up the video. <laughs> So far, this is what it should look like. Now, you want to try to draw the body. You may want to draw a dot just to make it easier. Then you want to go down, 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 make a curve. Make a thing right here. A U. Eh. Also a leg, but... So the bigger the body, the cuter, or what? Doesn't really matter. So it's more about like the eyes. Next, you want to draw it right here. Stop right about there. Draw a tail. Fluffier the better. Gonna draw some lines right here to make it more realistic. I want to erase a little here. I want to curve out, make a leg. You want to block it off and make one less leg. Then you want to make the chest. Then, just to make it a little cuter, just add a little heart near the tail. This is a step you could pass if you don't want to do it. Also, I forgot something on the ears. That. Mm-hmm. Also, I'll teach you how to draw a unicorn horn if you want to add that in. Do that. Then you make a triangle, sort of, and connect that. Then you just want to make lines down. 
So all you have to do is add that kind of right here where the forehead is. Like right about here. I'll be finishing the after touches in a little and I'll show you guys in a little. Sophia's also been drawing a corgi. I'll draw this on here. On the head, you see those lines that I just added. So this is my finished product with um, the gel pens, and it's called the Gold Corgi. Okay, so it, um, I actually changed it to the Golden Corgi. It just sounds better. <laughs> so far, this is a progress. It looks very good. Sometimes while you're drawing it, it may look like a cat. <laughs> but don't worry, it gets better. My face ended up looking like a chihuahua. <laughs> but it's fine. It's still very cute. And it's wearing a party hat. So the corgi takes about, what, 10 steps? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe less. I don't know. Sometimes I forget a few things. <laughs> Max here is just hanging out. Let's go check out Shayla's drawing. She's finished. Take it. Corgi. Her corgi is so cute. Shayla's finished product was so cute. I told you, the bigger the eyes, the better. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>